Oh, and it's the end of the summer. And at the end of the summer, what I want to see are a lot of over-the-hill action guys getting together and having a fine time. And I actually mean this. I'm mm -hmm. talking about The Expendables 2. We have Sylvester Stallone. We have Jet Li. We have Jason Statham. We even have newcomers, Chuck Norris and Arnold Schwarzenegger. They've all come together to save the world and get revenge. Really, they come together just to show... Highly a, original plot. Highly original plot. The plot doesn't matter. They've come together to remind us of the era of the great American action hero. These guys are now thick of waist, amazingly smooth of brow, very white of teeth. And I have to tell you that something about their strange looks and their willingness to work with stunt doubles in order to do this absolutely charmed me. And the other thing that charmed me about this movie is... It had no pretensions of being anything other than what it was. It was reminding us what it was like to see these guys get together and kick butt, and I totally enjoyed it. Yeah, and that's sort of an amazing thing to bring off. I mean, look, these guys are so old now that some of them, it's not just that they can't run, some of them can barely talk. Chuck Norris is 72 years old. That's right. Sylvester Stallone sounds like a stroke victim at this point. <laughs> and really Dolph Lundgren just kind of seems like a homeless guy. And yet, <laughs> Lisa, you're exactly right. There is something about this cast, it's not just that we have this long-standing affection for these actors. It is affection. They are such museum pieces that they literally almost take us back in time, the pre-9-11 world, and the result is a guilt-free action movie that I don't think you could quite bring off with a younger cast. You need these guys for that. Exactly right. And one of the things that's also fascinating to me is as I watched it, as I often do in the movies these days, I mentally turn the sound down. What if, they, what if there wasn't big music behind it? What if they weren't speaking? This has been boiled down to the essence of a totally exportable international action movie. It didn't matter if they said a word. Sure. And there's something that is totally satisfying on a kind of basic lizard brain level about that. Yeah, but let's be clear about one thing. I was interested, after seeing The Expendables 1 and how good a movie this was on its own terms, the opening funny. the opening action sequence is actually really good. It gave me hopes that the director, Simon West, would actually do a better job of directing than Stallone did in the first movie. He doesn't. A lot of it is kind of clunky and flat. And yet, the strange thing about these Expendable movies is that if they were better they wouldn't be as good. Exactly you need right. them to be kind of crudely innocent in it's a way. It's sort of the uncanny valley of action movies. That's right. One criticism I have is couldn't they come up with better taglines? They do I'll be back and that's sort of funny but then they do I'll be back again <laughs> and at the end of the movie the first I was thinking well you know, couldn't you come up with one new line for us? But no, it's just all the old lines. That's how little imagination there is in this script. The other thing that struck me this time, I mean, it appears in every action movie, the bad guys are all foreign people with funny accents, and it doesn't even matter. There's no politics attached to this. It's just the bad guys, we're going to get them. Right. It's all part of the cheesy preposterousness of it. In the climax of this movie, you have Arnold and Bruce Willis in this little car shooting <laughs> up an airport with machine guns, and it's almost like they're a step away from being in wheelchairs. <laughs> exactly. Um, there's not this sense that they're really moving on their own. And yet, that's the charm of the movie. Is there going to be an Expendables 3? I actually want to see that. <laughs> I know. I hope they're around that long. I'm looking forward to it. Guys, hang on. We want a third. <laughs>